Okay. Good afternoon, citizens of Reverb. DK here with Mr. V Amps, and we have kind of a funny camera angle because we're running out of space down here in the shop. Um, <laughs> it's but we've been blessed with a lot of amps here. But uh, this is a Yamaha 5112. It says 5112 there. Technically, the model is a G50-112. So 50 watts one 12 inch speaker. This is the original version manufactured between 1976 and 1979 and it is loud and clean. That high input, the gain, the inputs there, they're marked as you know high and low. Um, for a guitar with humbuckers, gotta go in the low input. Um, this amp is just really plenty loud. Um, we got the volume at one, bass uh, at six, middle at five, and treble at like 4.8 and there's a bright knob that's at like what four and a half something like that distortions off reverbs off <laughs> So plenty clean, plenty loud, um, a little on the bright side, but the treble knob does a lot, as does the bright knob, uh, so you can really darken it, as well as that tone knob on your guitar, so, um, you know, no need to be afraid of the brightness, because there's a lot of ways to dial it right out. So, let's just take a check on our volume knob here, normally, obviously, with amps, if the volume knob had a problem, it would be a scratchy little monster, and of course it's not, we can go all the way from zero to full scratchy noises and the pickups on my guitar pick up noise from the camera I've noticed this all right so we can go to maximum bass here down to minimum bass and again no scratchiness in the pot there middle play a chord we'll take middle down to zero here I'll do C Treble, put that at max, and we'll take that back to zero, and boy, that puts it underwater. So, treble pot's very, very effective at taming excess treble, or making a sparkly sound, whichever you prefer. It's a knob here for bright, you can go from zero. So that kind of works in, I would almost say that the bright knob to me is, I don't know, super treble or something, a uh, step above that. There's a reverb, it is a spring, there is a spring tank, and it works just fine. So. I'm always concerned with this camera about being too loud, but our reverb works just fine. A nice, powerful reverb kind of approaches um, approaches surf level, I would say. Yeah, nice. And then there is a distortion circuit, which to me sounds a lot like a fuzz. We'll put that up plenty there. Sounds like a fuzz to me. So there we go. And as we can see, we can turn all the knobs all the directions, and we're not getting any crackles or fuzz, or not fuzz. Well, we get fuzz when we turn on fuzz, right? But uh, we're not getting any crackles or weird, strange noises. Both input jacks work fine. Uh, the amp came with a three prong grounded cord, which I, appears to be factory. We'll spin it around and take a look at the speaker. But uh, 70 solid state amp, very popular with jazz players. I could see surf players wanting to use this, anybody who wanted just a nice pedal platform. You know, loud and clear. So, loud and clear is a great way to start because nothing's worse than an amp that won't play clean when you want it to. So, um, you know, just a nice, honest, fairly lightweight, easy to move around, cool amplifier from the late 70s in really darn good condition.
That grill cloth is supposed to have a bunch of like holes and stuff in it and look like it's been stabbed, but it doesn't. It just looks great. All right, we'll spin it around and take a look at the mask. All right, so we got it spun around. Let's take a look at the rear control panel. We'll zoom in a little bit here. There are two fuses. Both are 2 amp. Um, no blown fuses or anything here. We're good there. It has an original Yamaha speaker. The speaker model is JA7059. And it has actually shows the curve on it. It kind of looks like a, the response curve of some other famous speakers I've seen. And then we have a foot switch jack that we can use to turn on either the distortion or the reverb. And there's marked as record out. That would be a line out. So model G50112, serial number 11650. So for many of you Yamaha amp aficionados, hopefully that'll help you figure out the exact vintage. But uh, made in Japan, Nippon Gaki Co. Ltd. says on it. So there you go. Yamaha amp from the 70s, and it works really, really well. And, you know, it's cosmetically, we got a couple little bumps in the Tolex and whatnot, but the grill cloth's in super shape. Uh, nobody would guess this amp is 40 years old or more. Could have fooled me. I mean, this his condition is awesome for its age. Thanks for sharing. Have a great day.